We're a couple of weeks into the current legislative session and Rhode Island's Black and Latino Caucus is planning ahead for 2023. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera spoke with the co-chairs of the caucus about one of their first order of business. It's new at five. Adriana. Well, Mike Shannon, the Black and Latino Caucus might soon bear a different name and members tell me the change has a specific purpose. A new year for the Black and Latino Caucus. Former state rep Anastasia Williams telling me it has carried that name for more than 15 years when it was changed to include Latinos. This year, Representative Leonella Felix and Senator Jonathan Acosta are co-chairs. They tell me that while the group still has 21 members, the diversity amongst them has increased. Two Asian American legislators joined their ranks this year, spurring the conversation to change the caucus name again. Because it's no longer the name that's representative of all of our uh, legislators that are now in office. Williams says the caucus has doubled its membership over the years, but the changing of the name is only one item on their docket this legislative session. The group is now tasked with deciding on their priorities for this year, which Acosta says will look to address the needs of Rhode Islanders, regardless of race ethnicity or socioeconomic background. As people of color, we are familiar with many of the issues that affect our community, but we also today represent a wider range of professional and personal backgrounds. Felix tells us she's hoping increasing access to the state house will get more people involved in local government. Right, when you look at the uh, at the demographics of our communities, is right, we should have more representatives uh, that look like us. The caucus will meet February 2nd to vote on their new name. Some of the options up for debate, the Rhode Island BIPOC Legislative Committee or the Minority Committee. We'll bring you an update on the new name as soon as we get it. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.